Howdy, howdy, howdy. This video is for Carlos at Embroidery Kings. My name is Joseph Graham, and the reason why I'm making this video is because I received an email from the Lone Star. And I said, Hey, Joe, could you send these guys a heat map till we get their article ready? Thanks. Thanks in advance. Thanks in advance. So, Carlos, what I did, uh, said Duda. Carlos said Duda. What I did, bud, was I took your map listing. I ran it through our heat map tool, and what this heat map does is show everywhere your your GMB, your map listing is ranking in certain areas. A little bit about me. Again, my name is Joseph Graham. I'm based out of Fort Worth, Texas. I'm a marketing consultant, and I help local businesses increase traffic, increase sales. How do I do that? This is just one way I do that. So check this out. Let's say like someone's looking for a sign shop, someone's looking for car detailing, someone's looking for a, a ballerina class for their for their you know four year old daughter, right? It doesn't matter what they're looking for. They're gonna do one of two things, Carlos. They're gonna say they're gonna go up to somebody they know and say, hey, do you know anybody that can do this? That can teach that? That can do this for me? That has this? That sells this? Right? They ask people they know, right? And that's how you get those word of mouth referrals. Which is the best referral is to just like to live in testimonies, right? Other than doing that, Carlos, what they're gonna do is they're going to jump online. And they're gonna use these free Google searches, right? They're unlimited for a limited time. <laughs> so you got these people paying for ads. I guess I should just go to signs, make it more relevant. You got all these people paying for ads. You got these top three businesses, and then you have these organic business listings down here now here's the kicker carlos these top three map listings get the 80 percent of the phone calls or visits it doesn't matter if you're a brick and mortar if you have a shop you know what i mean or if you're a mobile service and you go to them these top three businesses get 80 percent of the clients and it's usually the one that has the most and best reviews right it's usually how that goes that's why we created this heat map right so okay so those top three these top three map listings get them a bulk of the of the traffic right of the first state they, they make the first sales the most sales where's your heat map? okay so right here when i put it in there it's showing us that like in lewisville you're one and flower mound you got that locked down you know uh oaks highland village Sandy Shores, Lake Dallas, fantastic. Now you got some money laying on the floor, laying on the ground, these fours and fives in these areas. So what this means is when someone is in Lake Dallas or any of these areas right here and they're looking for an embroidery shop, you are number one in those map listings. So you're getting a lot of clients out of there, a lot of clients out of there, okay? But if someone goes down the street, someone lives down the street, let's just say if someone lives in Carrollton or Addison, right? and they're looking for an embroidery shop, they're gonna see these top three businesses right here, right? So they're more likely to get the, the first sale, one of these top three businesses right here. And, he, and you can even go inside of them and see where these guys rank, where I embroidered it. You can see where embroidered ranks. You can go down to Grapevine. You can see who's ranking in Grapevine. I think you're in here too. Yeah, you're number 15, which means there's 15, 14 client or 14 competitors on top of you before a client even finds you. Like Lone Star Stitching, he's just uh, right there in Grapevine. That's it. Well, yeah, man. So I do create. I I made another video beneath this video. It's called MCMs. It's called More Calls, More Sales, and I just show the key elements on how to rank organically. But for right now. I'm going to send you a copy of this heat map. You can go in here and you can, you know, see where the majority of your online traffic is coming from, right? So check this out. I'm going to show you how to start becoming a little bit more relevant in, let's say, Trophy Club. Trophy Club, you're almost there. So I'm going to show you how to do this. And next time someone lives in Trophy Club and they're looking for uh, your embroidery, well, you're in here, but, you know, it might vary. So let's just say, okay, let's pick somewhere like Argyle. Let's just say Argyle, okay? 
Why does it keep saying number one? Makes no sense. Okay, my apologies. I didn't refresh it whenever it was still loading. Okay, so it's fresher. Okay, so look. Everywhere you see a one, two, and a three, you rank in those areas. So you want to find somewhere where you don't. Let's just take grapevine. Okay, so we're going to take grapevine. So you want to start, you know, you want to start uh, appearing in grapevine. What this is going to do is now anyone in grapevine or any other area that's looking online for a, you know, embroidery shop, you want them to see you. You want them to come visit you. You want everybody's business, right? Why not? Why not? So this is how you're going to do it. So someone from Grapevine travels to your shop. Let's say your shop is over here. I have no idea. Might be. It hit 121. Boom, 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 boom. Now, when they get back to Grapevine, Texas, you want them to take a picture with their location. Their, you know that little G, that GPS location button? You want them to turn that turn that on on their cell phone. And when they take that picture, that picture is going to be geotagged, right? And so what they're going to do is they're going to want, they're going to um, write you a, a review, right? They're going to say from where are we at? Wait, one. You embroider, you do like stitches and stuff. So they're gonna say, "Hey, from Grapevine, Texas. Thanks for the badge." And they might upload that geotag picture. They should upload that geotag picture. That's gonna be starting creating some relevance in Grapevine. Does that make sense? Also, what you could do is you can create posts. I don't see any posts. Or you can create some posts saying, "Hey, we got another happy customer in Grapevine, Texas. Check this out." Boom, boom. Then you upload you upload that geotag picture. So that's how you're going to start turning this baby green. And then eventually you're, you're going to start getting more calls, making more sales, hire more staff, do what you want to do, make more money. It's whatever you want to do. Man. South Lake, same thing. You get someone who lives in South Lake, you have them take that picture of whatever you did for them in South Lake, geotag, upload it. Get it? I appreciate you for taking the time to watch this, man. I could talk about this stuff all day. All right? Um, yeah, I mean, if you want, I could point out a few things that'll help conversions. I and mean, these shirts look solid right here. I like that. All right, Carlos, thanks for taking the time to watch this, bud. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year's.